cocktail shaken. Cocktails on the fly. I'm your flighty hostess, Alberta Straub. Hi. Okay, I'm here to teach you right now today how to make a daiquiri. And I'm not talking about one of those sugary, slurpy, sweet crap that you might be calling a daiquiri and you know when you're out partying or whatever in New Orleans or something like this. This is a classic daiquiri. It's from the La Floridita Bar in Cuba. Uh, this is a great drink. Uh, it's made with fresh citrus. It doesn't have any slushy in it. it sometimes you make it with a little cracked ice and some slushy, but I'm making it up in a cocktail glass. It's just going to be fresh, tangy, delicious. Okay, and interestingly enough, I want to tell you a little historical story here. Uh, legend has it is that uh, Hemingway used to hang out in the La Floridita bar and he'd be down in these drinks when he was filming The Old Man in the Sea. He would travel to another bar to have his mojitos, but uh, he went to the La Floridita bar to have his his uh, daiquiris. And um, it's kind of cool that he was uh, dubbed Papa Double there. And uh, I really like that. Was, uh, he was dubbed Papa Double because he always insisted on having doubles. And I was always thinking kind of flighty double kind of had a nice ring to it. Only uh, instead of uh, doubles, uh, I think it would be, is my motto would be uh, one for you, two for me. So what do you think about that, flighty double? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can get that to catch on. But uh, what we want to do is put some fresh lime juice in the drink. I know, it's crazy. I bet there's no fresh lime juice in any daiquiri you've ever had. This is such a good drink. Okay, so we put in about an ounce. Um, sometimes these limes aren't too juicy. So you know what? I think I'm going to, that's not an ounce. I need, I'm going to have to squeeze two limes in there. But we're looking for an ounce. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. They're really making me work for it. I'm going to yell at my producer later. What's with these non-juicy limes? Give them a hard time, but I love them. Okay, so we need about an ounce of fresh lime juice, and then we're gonna match that with a simple syrup. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, and then we need some, uh, well, it'd be nice to have Cuban white rum, but of course, as we know, the laws of this world won't allow us to have any, but we have this uh, fabulous rum, which is the spirit of Cuba. So I'm gonna put a, in the spirit of Hemingway, I'm going to put some two ounces in there. Okay, so here we go, Papa Double. Here we go. Ah, there we go. And then after that, we're going to have some of this uh, fabulous Fuddy Love. So much mm, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. And that is going to be about three quarters of an ounce of the Maraschino. Okay, and we're almost ready to go. But Flighty didn't chill her glass. It's always important to chill your glass. So let's put some ice in this baby. Whoa, try not to spill your ice all over the place, all over your kitchen. Your mom will come in and yell at you, making cocktails. Okay, and so that's chilling. And so we're going to add some ice to this drink. You know, i got to tell you, I don't think Hemingway is that great of a writer. I mean, he's okay. Uh, you know, I like The Killers. That's a great short story. But as a writer, I mean, personally, it's, it's not that hot in my opinion. But you know what his real legacy is? Something that Flatty admires so deeply is the fact that he's associated with pretty much every major drink of the 20th century. I mean, the sidecar, the Bellini, the Mojito, La Floridita Daiquiri, Rock Gut. I mean, now that's a legacy Flatty can admire. That's something I would like to do, something I would like to leave. Okay, here we go. It's time to shake. We're going to shake, shake, shake. You have to shake like crazy. It's got to shake. It's a nice frothy, frothiness. Can you hear me? Frothy. I'm looking for frothy. Okay. That was a little ice formation on the outside of the uh, tin. Okay, and then we got to get rid of this ice in here. Hopefully your glass is nice and cold. And then we're going to use this uh, half a lime to edge the glass with sugar. And use bar fine sugar because um, bar fine sugar is a little better tasting than normal granulated sugar. It really does make a difference in your cocktail. It makes the cocktail taste better for some reason. Flotty doesn't know science. She just knows taste and she knows cocktails. So we're edging our glass. Okay, there we go. We got some bar fine sugar going. And we're going to pour in this lovely daiquiri. There we go. Daiquiri's in there. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, and then all you got to do is if it's a nice, simple, straightforward drink. It's not, it's not crazy like this frothy garbage. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. There we go. And float a 
nice uh, lime round on the top. Um, sometimes you could, it's tasty to add a little bit of grapefruit. You know, you could throw this grapefruit uh, piece into the glass when you're shaking, get a little bit of grapefruit. It's a nice little, uh, nice little alternative to the classic of uh, uh, La Floridita. But there we go, La Floridita daiquiri, Hemingway's favorite. Let's give uh, respect and props to Papa Doublé. Cheers. And uh, just remember, maybe it's Flatty Doublé. <laughs> Trying to get that to catch on. Woo! Flatty Doublé. I like it. La Floridita Daiquiri. In a mixing glass, pour one ounce of fresh lime juice. Match with simple syrup. Add two ounces white rum. Add half an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Add ice and shake, shake, shake. Edge a chilled cocktail glass with sugar. Strain into the cocktail glass. Float a lime around. Delicious. Cocktail shaken. <laughs> <laughs>